Hi hey YouTube, 1986 Fox Body Mustang. Looking at replacing my 15 inch rims that came with the vehicle uh, to a 17 inch rim uh, that I purchased from American Muscle. And I've been checking forums online and talking to support on various websites as far as rims and tires go and getting a lot of mixed uh, results. Not really 100% clear, clear how well these things are gonna fit. So I thought I'd cover it in the video. So that way if you guys decide to upgrade your 15s to 17 inch, uh, rims and these are the 2003 Cobra rims and I got these from American Muscle So uh, if you're looking at upgrading yours uh, This may be a good video for you just to kind of review and see what all is going to be involved to get your Tires and rims on the car when you purchase them if you decide to upgrade them So we'll follow that through and we'll see how it goes Okay, so I removed the old rims and tires and installed the new ones and uh, as far as the back goes, no issues, everything is good. So the 255 40 R17s are fine. You can go a lot wider, by the way, with tires on the back. Uh, a friend of mine from 5.0 Motorsports in Toronto says you could actually go 285s as far as width goes on these uh, Fox Body Mustangs. Anyways, uh, back is good, uh, no issues there. I, do, I did run in some issues in the front. So now the tire and rim. Uh, first thing I noticed is that the cap uh, that goes in the center of the rim uh, will not go on. Uh, there is a very slight difference in there where this cap in the center is in the way. So if you want to put a spacer in there, uh, if you want that cap on, that will work for you. You're probably better off just blacking it out and not going with a spacer. But the bigger problem I ran into is, so the tire is turning fine right now. There's no clearance issues. However, in the back, where the shock tower is. The shock is, oh gosh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch away from the rim right now and the tire. So that could be a problem. I'm thinking maybe when I put weight on the tires and rims and I get the car off the axle stands, uh, it may bring the tire up a little more and give me a little more clearance issues. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but we'll have to, I'll, uh, when I get it down afterwards, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, last item here is uh, again so the back I went 255s and the front I went with 235 45 R17s and at first glance you know what you have a hard time telling the difference in the width of the car so I know for us as car guys we want to go as big as we can you don't want to go as wide as you can but at the end of the day between 235s and 255s and 285s you're not going to see a huge amount of difference so you may want to reconsider where you what you're doing for tire size go a little narrower uh, it'll just maybe help with uh, less work required afterwards so i'm going to take the tires and rims back off here now i want to plane up uh, the drum and the caliper and clean up the wheel well and uh, before i do put them back on and uh, we'll see how that drives uh, the next item i'll be doing on the car is the front chin spoiler so uh, watch for uh, that on YouTube as well uh, and we'll be back at you okay so after I had the tires and rims on the car I wasn't happy with the clearance I was there uh, 1 16th of an inch to me wasn't gonna work uh, I think that may have caused the issue so uh, from late model restoration I ordered a 8 millimeter spacer uh, to put on the, the rotor and uh, problem I found after I got the spacer is the bolts were not long enough on the uh, the rotor to go through. I wasn't happy with the amount of thread that was going on there. So uh, then I ordered from CJ Pony uh, some three inch wheel studs. So I got the three inch wheel studs. Uh, I bought some new rotors. I figured, you know, for all the trouble I'm going through, I actually bought new rotors, bought new calipers, uh, got those painted, ready to go, and uh, bought new uh, pads as well, brake pads. So the problem is, so these were supposed to fit in the rotors, but the base of the shaft here is wider than the rotor. So at work, we have some equipment. So actually even with a six ton press, I couldn't push these things on. So anyways, had to stop and I grinded out the interior there of the, where the bolts go, uh, their studs go. Anyways, had to grind that out so that I can get these in. So. After I got those in, the next thing I needed to do is I had to cut some of the top of the three inch off because now they're too long. Uh, because of the bolts I'm using, uh, they actually have a top on them and I 
got to make sure they don't bottom out. So I end up cutting these at one and three quarter inch on here. Uh, so there's an inch and three quarters uh, there uh, on the length on that. And uh, anyway, so now I'm going to put these rotors on the vehicle. And by the way, uh, you want to make sure that you're not going to bottom out on the uh, with the lugs that you're using. So I actually put these rotors and uh, on the uh, on, with the spacer on it onto the new rims, and I tightened up. And then what I did actually is I counted how many turns it took to remove the bolt. Uh, that gave me so. Anyways, I had 19. So when I put this thing on afterwards, just on the bolt, I got 24 turns on here before it bottoms out. Uh, that'll tell you a real easy way of knowing if you uh, if the length on these are okay. Because the last thing you want is to be torquing these down, thinking you're tightening your tires and rims on when you're actually bottoming out on the uh, the bolts on there. So you want to make sure that does not happen. So anyways, I cut mine an inch and a quarter. So anyways, a lot more work than I wanted to do. I thought this was gonna be a lot more straightforward. So this took uh, by the we were in Canada, I couldn't get any of this stuff in Canada. I had to order from the States, thank you US for having all this stuff in stock, good old CJ Pony and LMR and American Muscle are pretty good supply points for these. So anyways, uh, noticed uh, somebody posted that you're not supposed to use spacer with the longer wheel studs, uh, however these things here are strengthened, uh, the Moroso ones, uh, so there should be no issues with that. So anyways, hopefully that helps. This should help in getting the uh, tires and rims on that I bought for the car. Uh, Again, eight millimeter spacer. Uh, I bought three inch studs and I had to, I bought new rotors. I had to uh, drill out or grind out the, uh, where the studs go so I can get these into the rotor. And uh, even with a six ton press, by the way, these would not press in by themselves. So I had to, again, grind them out. So I got those in there now. Those are solid, they're good to go. Uh, so anyways, next step, I'll put the, uh, the rotors and brake calipers back together and then get the tires and rims on and we'll see where, how we end up with that. Okay, so I've got the rotors back on the vehicle along with the spacer ready to put the uh, new tires and rims on. Uh, i got my calip new calipers, got them all painted up. Uh, I just an item here if you're doing a brake job on these on the 86, uh, it's a Torax bit number 50 to remove those. And if you're planning on changing the calipers before you remove the old caliper, just to give you a little tip to save you some headaches, uh, loosen off the flex uh, hose uh, before you do that. It'll make it life a little easier for you when you got to remove it and move it over to the new one. Anyways, uh, there we are. Uh, spacers on, uh, rotors ready to go, bearings and everything been repacked. Uh, yeah, all right. So let's see what it looks like with the new tires and rims and see what type of clearances we have. Okay, 1986 Mustang with 2003 Cobra rims. Uh, the back went on fine, no issues there at all. I could have went bigger for the tires. Uh, on the front, uh, again, just a review, did a lot more work than I really wanted to get into, but uh, it's the only way to get these things on. Uh, bought new rotors uh, because the old ones are a little tired. The studs on the old rotors were too short, so I had to buy some three inch studs and I put those in the new rotors. Had to grind out the rotors to get the studs into them. After I got the studs in, uh, I cut them to an inch and three quarter, and that gave me the, the length I needed to, along with these eight millimeter spacers. So anyways, it's on, and uh, I think we're fine for clearance now on that. Uh, I believe if you turn the wheels pretty sharp, you're still gonna get a little rub inside, but I had that in my old tires before. So again, on the front here, I got 235 45 R17s, and I got 255 40 R17s on the back. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care.